there everyone. Um, this is Kristen Dembrowski and I want to show you a short little video tutorial on some uh, really easy activities you can do to help students who are struggling with blending. And that's something that you would notice based on um, PALS data um, and you know your classroom observations. So what I have here is a stack of cards. Uh, there's not many and I can give you a list of what's here. And the first thing I would do with these cards, depending on my students' needs and whether they had really solid letter recognition, is I would go over these cards with them. And I would have them say, um, this says S. And K. Those are my first um, four cards. And these are going to be initial sounds. And I want to make sure they have those down. So I'm going to put those in my initial pile. Then I want to go over the vowel sounds with them and these are all going to be short sounds at this point. So I, a, a, e, and a. And those are going to be my medial or middle sounds. And then my final sounds and these can go in any position. These can go initial or final but we have t. And make sure here and to correct students if they say t, we want to make sure that they say t because we don't say sata, we say sat. Um, so make sure that they're cutting it short. Say cut that please. T n m p d and b. Nice and short sounds. Um, so you want to set up your cards like this. So we have initial sounds, medial sounds, and final sounds. And we want to make sure that we always have a consonant at the end here. So that we have a closed syllable, which means that our middle sound here, our vowel, is always going to be short. If I took this away, this goes from sub to su, and I don't want that. I only want to work with short sounds right now. So before we do this activity, it might be worthwhile to have a conversation with your students about um, nonsense words and how they're very helpful to um, practice with nonsense words in the classroom. Between you and me, the reason is that then we can't use prior knowledge or vocabulary knowledge and we actually have to pay, to eat, pay attention to each sound that we see here. Um, and it's also just good practice to try new words that we've never seen before. Every once in a while in this activity, you'll see a real word come up and that's fun to say, um, you know, what does this word mean or where have you seen this word? So you wanna make sure you're doing this individually, not chorally. So if you're doing this in a small group, each student should get a turn to do their own word so that you can really zero in on what they need. Step one is for the student to say each sound individually and point at them. S, a, uh, b. And then we want to blend it together. Sub. That seemed really easy because I'm an adult, but some of our students, this is going to take them a while. Um, they, you might have to slowly go faster and faster, sub, 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 until they hear it. And some students aren't ready for three sounds, so we can actually take away the first sound and just work with two here. We have ub, ub. The next step is um, you want to just rotate the cards, and this is where you can get creative, and this is why it's good to do it individually so that you can tailor to each student in your small group depending on their skill level. But you could decide, um, you know, we're just going to work with the UB family and I'm just going to change the first sound to FUB, HUB. Or as your students progress, you can, um, a real big challenge is actually to change out this medial sound. That is the hardest for students. So if they can go from SUB to SEB to SOB. And of course, you can um, mix and match and maybe just change out the final sound from sub to sud. Oh, that's a real word. Do you know what that means? Suds. Um, sup. When students get really good at this and they're clearly ready for another challenge, um, you have two options here. We have several options here. Um, you could teach them what an open syllable is and when you get to the kid in your group who's ready for that challenge, you say, oh, hey, Micah, um, this was sub. What if I take the b away and now we have su? Or what you could do is make yourself another e card and teach them the magic e final e rule and say, you know, um, student number one, this is sub. 
student number two, what happens if I add an E at the end? The E makes the U say its name, and that's sub as well. So we, and then you could say sub, sub, sub. You can have a lot of fun playing around with this. Um, eventually, you can also start to add in some digraphs, the TH sound, the CH, ch, um, and the SH sound. Um, there's a lot of things we can do to increase the challenge here or decrease, and I like this activity because, um, again, you want to make sure that students are always doing the same protocol and they're pointing odd, hod. But within your small group, you can really tailor it to the student whose turn it is right now. And that's it for this blending activity. As always, let me know if you have any questions.